Hey guys, it's a brisk spring morning, the weather is warming up, and the chances are we won't be needing this snow blower again till next winter. In this video, I'll be specifying the steps you need to take before putting your machine in long-term storage. The first step is to add the recommended amount of fuel stabilizer to your last tank of gas for the season. Stabilizers eliminate the chance of your gasoline sludging up over time. You can add stabilizer to the gas can or you can pour it straight into the tank of your snowblower. Then start up your blower and let it run for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the stabilized fuel has completely distributed itself through the fuel system. Now we can move to the next step, which is specified in the operator's manual that came with your Toro snowblower. The engine is still hot, so the oil should drain well. We're going to fill the oil through the same hole that we drained it from. Once it's full, the oil will start to dribble over the edge. That's how you know the oil is at the right level. When using the dipstick, don't screw it in. Just insert it and then pull it out. The oil should reach the top of the hatch marks. Earlier, we stabilized the fuel, but we didn't drain it from the fuel system. The manual suggests we do both. Stabilize and drain. The carburetor is behind this black plastic cover. At the bottom, you'll find the carburetor bull bolt, and a smaller 10 millimeter screw. I'm cracking the screw loose with a 10 millimeter wrench. Then I'll twist it out the rest of the way with the screwdriver. Have your drain pan ready. Try starting your machine a few times and let it run until it burns away the remaining gas. At this point, there's still going to be gas residue in the carburetor and fuel lines, but it will only be a minimal amount. The residue that's left will be stabilized, so it won't sludge up. Now we can move on to the next step. You'll need a 13 16th inch socket and an extension to remove the spark plug.
If you're not replacing your spark plug, it's a good idea to clean it up before reinstalling. And you'll need to check the gap, but don't install the plug quite yet. Rust is one of the biggest problems you face when storing equipment long term. The rust I'm talking about is the kind that grows in the combustion chamber, pitting the cylinder walls and the pistons if they're left untreated during the off season. The manual recommends motor oil for the treating of the combustion chamber. Squirt two teaspoons through the spark plug hole and you're set. Me, I personally use WD-40. Then spread the oil around by pulling on the starter string. Cleaning the machine was our final step for this video. We stabilized and drained the fuel system, changed the oil, squirted oil into the combustion chamber, serviced the spark plug, and finally we washed down the machine. You could also check the bolts and screws and make sure everything is tight and secure for next season. The manual recommends spraying rust preventative on external metal parts and doing a few other things. But for us, that's the end of the road. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.